I bought this fern as one of the items to go by my new bedding area from one of my recent videos. And it is rather sickly looking. I did my YouTubes. And apparently, a good thing to do is to bring them into the shower because all that steam helps to nurse them back to health. How was that steam there, Fernie? You enjoy that? I'll get you back to health. One shower at a time. All right, Manny, I'm gonna need this. Thank you. Before I get to work back on finishing this bomber jacket, though, I do have to fix a little something from last week. And I tried it on and turns out along the forearm, it's much too tight. So, quick fix. First up, undo it. And then I'm going to make this triangle shape that I'm going to fill in in that area and I'm going to make it about an inch plus some seam allowance. Now I do want two of them so fold that over. Got this jacket inside out. Alrighty. Then flip it around. Have I done it on the wrong side? Oh, I've done it on the oh. I've done it on the wrong side. Where's my stitch remover thingy? Dang it! Okay, uh, let me try that one more time. Except now, flip to the other side, and let me just double check if I do it this way. Flips around on the inside. Okay. All right. Okay. Is it beautiful? No. But this is just a test jacket anyways. Time for a bit of measurement. Sleeves are better. Basically, I want the final sleeves to be the same length, and if I make them two inches, so basically just take off two inches, and then for the waist, so let's say up to here, and then I put about three inches around the bottom. Okay, I'm going to shorten the sleeves first, and so that'll be two inches. All right, and then along the bottom, I do it to there. All right, so let me measure out five and a half inches around. Snip, snip, snip. Ooh, 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 that was close. I almost cut into the pocket on the other side there. Bit of a rough start today. All right. I also need to measure how much this is. So along the bottom here, it is 30 and a half plus another 10 and a quarter makes 40 and three quarters. Mental math, good for the brain to prevent Alzheimer's apparently. And then measuring these, the smaller side's four and a half. And then this one is five prepping first the sleeves and so it needs to double up two inches four plus my seam allowance and now this is a rib knit fabric that I used for a crew neck sweatshirt from a few projects ago all right now what did I say eight and a quarter so up to here and here and then nine and a quarter Woo! Look at that. It's just enough. It's literally the right size. Four and a 
first I'm going to do the little pieces on the inside of where the elastic underneath attaches to. I don't know if that explains it too well, but you'll see in a second. And I'm going to make them, let's say, oh, two inches wide plus seam allowance. So let's go two and a half. And now the final would be the long stretchy bit at the bottom here. Oh, look at that. Even this is perfectly sized. And five and a half. I now have several pieces ready to go. Editing Cornelius, people have heard me talk enough. Let's have a little montage. I'm sure the jam's already got started, yeah? This is why me and you are a good team. Cut the montage. I, uh, I pinned that on the wrong side. Let me fix that. All right, back to montage editing, Cornelius. Sorry. Right. Done it on the wrong side again. All right, cut the montage. Last thing is just to do these things, but the right way. Flip them to the right side, did my top stitching, and now my sleeves are officially on. Starting to take shape. Onto the zipper. And this is the right way, so flip it over. Hold on. This is the uh, the wrong way. That's the outside. Wow. What is really the issue, right? All right, and the zipper is on. But I imagine you're thinking to yourself, well, isn't your zipper a bit long there, Cornelius? You're right. I trim it off like so. Then, now unfortunately I don't have the right tool for this, but I gotta take, cut these off, these little nibs. Cut off for me there, yeah? Here, let me try it with this side one before I ruin the actual one. Mm, that just damages them. I figured it out. If I take a butter knife here, then I can just pop these little zipper nibs off the end. Why well, you gotta be so tough for me when I'm trying to show the people? There we go. 
That's one off. There we are. There we go. That comes off a bit better. And then this little baggie here. I'm supposed to pop that over top. Although that's much too loose. And then I think maybe, let's see, I think I can press them together. I'm figuring this out on the fly. Oh no, never mind. There we go. Huh. I have a new zipper end. How's about that, huh? Final step here is getting this collar on. So first up, walk it out, measure the size of my collar. Twenty-one. I'm gonna do just under two inches. So if I make it four in total, about here. So it's twenty-one inches. So I'm gonna make it eighteen. So that way gives it a little bit more stretch. You know what? There's a little bit more there. Let's just make it this full length. Perfect. That works. Double it up. And fold it over on the other side. I need a little bit to sew there. But basically I create a curve. Wunderbar. Pin it on this side, wrap it around, pin it on the other side. All right. Final step here of the final step of the collar, top stitching it down. Complete. Yay me. This is this is not good. I tried it on. And there's problems. The worst of the bunch is this collar. It has gotten rather large on me. I made it bigger, then I cut it even bigger. I added too much seam allowance within the zipper. Combined with this zipper just being way too far out, I didn't sew that properly either. And then the rib knit, I also didn't make it small enough and stretch it far out, so it's sitting up a little too straight as well. Also, I added entirely too much extra width in the body. Look at that. Could fit another half a Cornelius in here. As for the sleeves, I still don't have enough in here. Sure, it fits fine now, but if I put a sweater underneath here, it's not going to fit. This rib knit on the sleeves as well, I didn't make nearly small enough. It's quite loose, especially on the left-hand side here. My bomber jacket. I won't be leaving the house in it. And that's the whole point of doing these things. They're not always going to turn out. Sometimes, you know, it's a, it's a learning experience. And I, I really got myself a, a learning one on my hands right now. At this point, do I even need to say where I'm off to? I'm looking for a pot for my peace lily. Oh, Value Village, my old friend. I just couldn't find one that I liked. <laughs> at this point, I have wasted more time looking for one at the thrift store than if I would have just went to a department store. Corporate overlords, I'm on my way. Walmart selection left a lot to be desired. But then I had a moment of brilliance and I thought, why don't I just get a trash can? Sometimes my ingenuity even surprises myself. Also, it's cold outside. Probably should have put on a jacket. Fall is in the air.
While I was at the store, I did also get myself some shake and feed, some fertilizer. Turns out plants need food besides just water, so get a little bit of that in there. It's supposed to be within the soil. Oh boy, yeah, this thing is ready for a larger, larger pot. little H2O to digest that fertilizer food. And back in the corner you go. Yeah, there we go, nice. You also get a little bit of plant food. Work that into the soil a little bit as per the directions. A little water to wash down. That din din there, Fernie. Right. 